hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel today's topic is about create and alter statements this is part 7 of proc sql series in this presentation i will be talking about various ways of creating table and how to look into table definition and also i will be discussing on views too and also we will very briefly touch on alter statements also now first let's look into how to create a table and in this we are going to look into how we are going to create an empty table an empty table can be easily created by using a create table statement here what we need to do is after proc sql semicolon all we need to do is we need to mention create table followed by table name followed by parenthesis in this parenthesis we are going to mention a variable followed by its attributes and then a comma and then another variable followed by its attributes in this example i have two variables and these variables are known as name and age and after name i have this particular variable attributes that is character which i am mentioning as car and also length I am mentioning in the bracket as 50 and then here the second variable I am just mentioning as num here for age variable we have mentioned only one attribute that is its data type and that is num I can include more attributes like format in format and others simple rule to create table is just giving a create table and table name followed by a variable and it attributes followed by a comma and then another variable if we have more variables we will put a comma and then we will write another variable now that we have looked into how we can create a table without any data now let's quickly look into how to create a table with data in this example here we are creating data from another table and in here again create table statement is very similar we have proc sql semicolon and here i am mentioning create table and table name and what we need to do here is we need to write as select star from the table which we want the data from and then semicolon and then quit in this case the important point is we are writing a as and then we are doing a select from another table and we are creating a new table here there are certain important points which i want to discuss i don't have to write star always i can select fewer columns and also i don't have to pick everything from sas help dot class i can include a where clause and then i can filter the data now we have looked into both how to create table without data and with data now let us look into something which is little bit more interesting here we want to create a table as other table but without data for this the code is little different than what we have seen before here i am saying proc sql semicolon again create table table name this is pretty standard all the time as we want to create a table like other table we are using like and then here i am picking up the information from sas help dot class here one thing to remember is we are just copying the table structure here i would like to show that we can add one more important attribute that is constraint to be more precise these are integrity constraints and here for the name variable i have written car 50 and also i have mentioned not null not null is an integrity constraint i have made a very detailed video on the integrity constraints and the link for the same i will give in the description below now let us look into something different we can also alter the table what do i mean by alter table let's look into the example here here i am using a data step and i am creating a data set 
and this data set is BDF. And here I have three columns, call one, call two, and call three. And here I also have a data. So after I have created the table with the data, I can add new columns also. And this is usually done with the help of alter table statement. And this is done by using alter table and we need to give table name. And here as I'm adding a column, I need to mention add and the column name I want to add is call for and the attributes I want is car 50. Not only I can add variables, I can also drop variables. All this can be done with the help of alter table. So alter table statement is mainly for adding or dropping variables after creating the table. This is sometimes useful, but most of the time we may not use alter table statement. Now let us look into another important thing. Now that we have created a table, let us see how we can see the definition of the table. To get the definition of table, we need to use a describe table statement. And it's also super simple. All we need to say describe table followed by table name. And we are going to see the following in our log. It tells about how the table was created and it pretty much looks similar like what I have shown you for create table statement. For this kind of thing, generally we use proc contents. Now that we have looked into how to create a table and how to look into the definition of the table and alter table also, now let's quickly look into view. Before going into the details of the view, I want you to understand few things. A view is nothing more than a query stored. And more on this with the help of an example here. Here I have a data debit and data credit and I want to create a view out of it. And for this, I have a subquery here. About this subquery, I have discussed in detail in one of my other videos, a link for the same I will give in the description below. But now I want to focus more on the concept of view. Instead of saying create table, I'm saying create view. By using the word view, what we are really storing is this particular query wherein we are doing select star comma and then we are writing parenthesis followed by select average money underscore credit from credit b where a dot cost underscore id equal to b dot cost underscore id as average or avg underscore credit from debit a i want you to understand that whatever i have set from this select star to quit that part of the code is all stored in this particular view. So a view is nothing more than a stored query. There is no data in the view. And now let's try to understand this view little bit more. When I say this view means the concept of view. And let's try to understand it in a very step by step manner. Let's also do a describe view. When we write describe view, we get the following in the log. In the log, if you see, here there is a definition of view which is nothing more than a particular code which we have stored by writing create view. If you look into table definition, it has variables and it has a particular definition related to variables. But when we look into the view, it is all about the code only. Now, I also want you to understand it even more better what happens when we run a particular view. Here, I am doing select star from our view, that is debit underscore credit. When I do select star from debit underscore credit, if it would have been a table, the query would have gone to table and got the data from the table. But this is not a table. So what happens here? When I say select star from 
debit underscore credit what happens is first this piece of code runs that is select star comma and parenthesis select average money underscore credit from credit B where a dot cast ID equal to B dot cast ID as a VG underscore credit from debit a quit so the view runs and it fetches all the data so you need to understand that a view is nothing more than a code but when we run the code we are going to get our results and the results are pulled back again into this select star so again in two steps I want to say whenever we do something like select star from debit underscore credit you need to understand that this debit underscore credit is nothing more than a piece of code which I have shown here that piece of code runs in SAS and gets all the data and then we are going to do select star from that data now that we have looked into view I quickly want to tell one another point that is views are generally used for two purposes the first purpose is for security when a team decides that they do not want to give table access for each and every one what they do is they create a view and give the view access to those people who are directly not involved in the business but they want to look into the data that's the one reason the second reason is sometimes some of the business users may not be able to write complex code so what the team which is directly involved in the business what they will do is they will create a view which may have a very complex code and a business user who is not very well versed with SQL what he does is he simply runs select star or select from that view to get his results so he doesn't have to really write a complex code but somebody is helping him out that's all for this topic if you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you